Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new Apex Legends season 19 dropped recently. Now I'm a little late in making this video, so I hope you guys support it out. Leave a like and drop your space down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the Apex Legends compatibility settings. And for that, you need to open up Steam. Uh, this is where I have installed my Apex Legends. It could be different for you. So just go to the location of the game. And over here, what you need to do is right click on your Apex Legends and then go to properties. Over here, go to compatibility. Then click on disable full screen optimizations. Click on change high DPI scaling. And over here, select override it application. Simply click on apply and that should do your work. Step number two is the essential Windows settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC. Once you are here, go over to gaming and then make sure to go to game bar and disable this thing. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and that will obviously cause your FPS issues. Right after that, go all the way down to game mode and then make sure to turn on game mode. Now game mode might cause some issues while you're playing Apex. So try turning this off or on depending on how much performance you're getting in both ways. After that, go over to graphics and then click on change default graphics settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU over your CPU and reduce your input latency likewise. After that, come back to graphics and in here you will find a list of all of the games and apps you have installed on your PC. You need to simply search for Apex Legends in here. Now it will be automatically added. So click on options and then select high performance and then click on save. Now, if in case it doesn't open up for you guys, you can always click on the browse button and then go over to the installation folder on your PC. Next step is deanimating your windows. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Simply click on adjust for best performance, select show thumbnails instead of icons, as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Once you're done with that, simply click on apply. Next step is the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Apex Legends. And for that, you need to right click on your desktop, click on show more options, and then open up NVIDIA control panel over here. Now, in case you're using an Intel or AMD GPU, you can follow my dedicated guides on best settings for Intel or AMD GPUs respectively on my channel. You can also find a link to them in the description below or the I button on the top right section of your screen. Now, once you are in the NVIDIA control panel, what you need to do is go to adjust image settings with preview and over here, select use advanced 3D image settings. Then simply click on take me there and it will take you to manage 3D settings. Over here, simply copy all of these settings. Once you're done applying all of these settings, go to configure surround and physics and over here for the processor, choose your GPU if it is set to your CPU. After that, go all the way down to video color settings and over here select with NVIDIA settings, go to advanced and set this thing to full. Now in some monitors, full might not be available so you have to go with limited. Enabling full will help you to get better visuals on your monitor. Lastly, you have to go to display and in here go to change resolution, select the highest resolution for your monitor and then the highest refresh rate over here. This will help you to make your gameplay much smoother. Many of you guys might not have already done and unlock the maximum output of your monitor. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues, packet loss, ping issues and input latency fix using exit lag. This is a pro's choice to get rid of all of your internet issues and you can simply download it from the link in the description below in one click. Exit lag helps you out to tunnel your internet right from your PC to the game servers and you can easily access them by one single click. On the left hand side, you will find a list of over 1000 games to choose from. You can simply search for Apex Legends over here. Now you can simply go and select the game region for me, the nearest region will be in Asia and that will be Dubai 01 or Bahrain Manama 01. I will go with Manama 01 and it will give me 42 milliseconds of estimated ping. You can also check with the Dubai servers and it will give me 46 milliseconds or 34 milliseconds. Once again, this is the better option. So simply click on apply routes. The best part of exit lag is the tool section over here. You can go to FPS boost Enable the first, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option and that will give you much better FPS and much lower input latency. 
Now once again, exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription. But if this thing helps you out, you can always get a monthly, quarterly or annual subscription. And in the Black November sale, you can get two plus one month completely free from the link in the description below. So you guys can go and check exit lag out. Links is in the description below. Next step is always creating a restore point to keep your PC intact. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Look for local disk C. Simply click on create and name it Apex just to remember that. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss, it will be very helpful. Next step is the Apex Legends Season 19 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download it from there or if you're facing any issues, you can always join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Simply open this thing up and you will find four simple folders. First one is the CPU priority and in here you will find AMD and Intel folders. Now you need to know which CPU that you are using. I am currently using an AMD CPU so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. But if you are using an Intel CPU, you can always run the Intel CPU priority as well. Next one is the RAM optimization and over here I have left a ton of presets according to your RAM. I currently use 32 GB RAM, it could be different for you. So to know that you can simply search for system information on your PC and over here you will find total installed physical memory. It is 32 GB for me, it could be different for you, so you can always choose it from the presets. Once again, if you don't like the performance, I've also left a reset to default over here. Third one is the Apex Legends optimization. And in here, you need to run both of these priorities. First one is the GPU priority that will prioritize your GPU over your CPU while you're playing the games. And next one is the Apex Legends high priority. This will set your game priority to the maximum level so that it will fix you all of the micro stutters as well as lags in your game. Lastly is the Windows optimization tweaks. And in here, I have left some of these registry files this is completely optional to do but i recommend you guys to do it for the maximum performance all of them will help you to disable unnecessary and unwanted services running in the background that keeps consuming your memory that affects your gameplay performance you can simply disable all of them from over here you can simply double click to run them and it will simply do the job in case you want to revert all of those back i have also left a revert registries from which you can always revert all of the registries back to normal. Once you're done with the FPS pack, feel free to drop into the game and then follow the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, what you need to do is press your escape button and then go over to settings. Over here, you need to go over to video settings, then make sure that your display mode is set to full screen. Aspect ratio should be set to native. Resolution should be set to native. Brightness and FOV is your personal preference. FOV ability scaling enabled. Sprint view shake minimal. Then V-Sync should be turned off. Adaptive resolution FPS target zero. Anti-aliasing none. Texture streaming budget low, or you can go with very low. Then you have texture filtering, go with bilinear, ambient occlusion quality, keep it disabled, sun shadow coverage low, sun shadow detail low, spot shadow detail, you can keep it disabled, volumetric lightning turn off, dynamic spot shadows, you can disable them, model detail low, effect detail low, impact marks disabled and ragdolls should be set to low. Once you're done with that, you're good to go with the best settings possible for Apex Legends. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button. It really helps me out growing the channel. See you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.